Oh, yes, the future, according to Carl Jung. Well, here we are in 1921. It is probably easier for us to see the future now than it has ever been in human history. We've survived a world war and have survived the Spanish flu. We optimistically look ahead to unfettered scientific and humanitarian advances. We have done so much as a species to understand the world around us. My sense is that the future will involve deeper and deeper understanding of the worlds that lie inside of us. I have dedicated my life to the study of these internal worlds, and I hope that the coming years will see many developments in this area. My own understanding is that there are fundamental differences in how people experience being human. As we better understand these differences, a universe of possibilities emerges where individuals may be able to craft lives for themselves which are consistent with, in alignment, you might say, with their basic wiring. I believe that there are, as yet, unperceived connections that exist between all humans on this planet. It is fascinating if we were to ponder a far distant future where technology might act as an accelerant to unlocking these connections and thereby eventually accelerate the dissemination of information about what makes us unique and different from one another. My sense, and this is just a glimmer of intuition into what might be, is that one of the primary questions for people in, you know, who knows, perhaps 100 years, is how to properly direct the dissemination of information about our internal worlds in such a way that it is productive, helpful, and positive. How can the future physicists of the mind, the students of the rules of gravity, and so on that govern our experience of being human, remain relevant when everyone in the world has casual access to the basic principles through some technology? <laughs> well, anyways, I hope that people are seeking to answer questions like that in the future. But what do I know? In 100 years, we might be in the throes of another global pandemic, fixated on interstellar travel and distracted by whatever Hollywood is turning out. But I would very much like to see it anyhow.